Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. Our top stories right now. A Dorchester woman accused of setting a fire today in an apartment building. Police charged the 45 year old with arson in the fire on Mora Street. A witness told officers that a person told him, I'm sorry, I had to do it. There are ghosts in the house. Firefighters had to rescue people from the building. DA says it's fortunate no one was seriously injured. More travel troubles at Logan today. Several Southwest Airlines flights were canceled or delayed, leaving travelers scrambling to find new ones. The airline blames the weekend storm. Now, so far, Southwest has called off 2,500 flights on the East Coast. And folks in Provincetown stepping up to help employees of a restaurant that was badly damaged in the storm. An online fund has raised more than $50,000 to help employees of Fenizis as the restaurant works to repair damage from storm surge. All right, time now to get a check of the forecast with Zach Green. Zach. And Chris, this evening is clear and cold. Once again, we've had that exact practice in the store for the past few days, so we'll land into the teens and 20s overnight off to the north and west of Buzzards Bay. There's a touch of warmth as we make our way to the Outer Cape as well as Nantucket, just kind of hovering around the freezing mark. But we're finally back to seasonal averages tomorrow as we begin to cloud things over. So instead of the bright skies that we had this afternoon, we're probably going to have more of an overcast scene for the middle of the week. Clearly doesn't stop our temperatures, though, as most of us are going to hover within a few degrees of that average of 40. Nonetheless, I think the coolest spot will be with elevation as we head over into southern New Hampshire, and then we'll get continuously warmer as we move into Thursday, Friday, and yes, the upcoming weekend. And all eyes going to be on the important holiday stretch. Saturday and Sunday has a chance of some rain. It still seems to be reserved for the second half of the weekend, but there may be some impact to come along with the countdown and celebration on Saturday night. So we want to skip ahead and just get us right over into midnight. This model indicating that the green, the rain is held off to the west right up until that point. We may have to dodge some scattered showers on Saturday night, but I don't think it's as impressive as what was initially indicated. Still, it's a very soggy way to go into Sunday morning. The temperatures are going to be warming up considerably, though. So instead of past years that we've had the teens, if not the single digits for New Year's Eve plans, we'll be into the 50s on Saturday afternoon. We'll double down for January 1st as well. And it seems to be the case as we're back to reality with work and school next week, Chris. So after the 30s tomorrow, it's all about the warmth. Yeah. All right, Zach. I'm Chris Tanaka. This has been a WBZ News Update.